and welcome to our lesson on trigonometry. So we're going to apply the three trigonometric ratios which are here. And we'll apply these to work out an unknown length in a right angle triangle. So we begin with question A, where we've been asked to work out the opposite, which is this length here. It is the opposite because it is opposite the angle, which we call theta. And the five centimeter length is opposite the right angle, so we call this the hypotenuse. And you can see sine theta deals with the opposite and the hypotenuse. So we're going to use sine. So the sine of the angle theta, which is 75 degrees, is equal to the opposite length divided by the hypotenuse, which is five. To solve this equation, I need to multiply both sides by five because then these will cancel. And I'm left with the opposite side is five multiplied by the sine of 75. And I can work this out on my calculator as approximately 4.8 centimeters to one decimal place. Okay, for question B, now we've been asked to work out the value A. And again, this is opposite the angle 60 degrees, which is theta. So we'll call this the opposite side. And we've been given the four centimeters, which runs along the angle and the right angle. So this is called the adjacent side. And you can see we're going to use tan, which involves the opposite and adjacent. So tangent or tan of theta, which is 60 degrees, is equal to A, which is the opposite, divided by the adjacent, which is four. We're gonna multiply both sides by four because these will cancel. So we're left with A on its own. And we have A is equal to four multiplied by the tangent of 60 degrees. You can work out this on a calculator as approximately 6.9 centimeters. Okay, let's try a couple more questions. So do you want to try and use the three trigonometric ratios to work out the sines of the opposite in question C and the adjacent in question D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we've been given the 12 centimeters, which is opposite the right angle. So this is called the hypotenuse side, and we know the opposite, so we're going to use sine. So sine of 60, which is the angle, is equal to the opposite side, divided by the hypotenuse of 12. Multiply both sides by 12. So we have the opposite side is equal to 12, multiplied by the sine of 60, which is approximately 10.4 centimeters. And finally, for question D, we know this is the hypotenuse because it is opposite the right angle. We have the adjacent, so we're going to use cos of the angle 45 degrees is equal to the adjacent, which we're trying to find, divided by the hypotenuse. We multiply both sides by eight. So eight cos 45 is the adjacent, which is worked out as approximately 5.7 centimeters. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.